Hey what's up guys, hope you are doing well. Up to this point we've created a first basic version of the arrow swipe game. Today we'll animate the arrow element as well as the score element with the help of the animate.css library. So let's go! Ok, let's first visit the animate.css website Here we are, and by the way, a while ago I've created a video called Animations with animate.css Feel free to check it out for a more thorough explanation of the library I will leave a link in the description Website here is quite simple, basically just a list with all available animations. In our project, we'll make use of the bounce in, the shake, and the pulse animations. Now, in order to include the anime.css library in our project, we could either download it and use it locally or do it via a CDN. Now let's visit the project on GitHub and let's zoom in. So animate.css is a cross browser library of CSS animations, as easy to use as an easy thing. Okay, sounds easy. Animate.css is a bunch of cool, fun and cross-browser animations for you to use in your projects. Usage To use Animate.css in your website, simply drop the style sheet into your document's head and add the class animated to an element along with any of the animation names. That's it. Very nice. We will use a CDN hosted version, so let's copy this to paste it in the head of our document. Feel free to go through the documentation, however we won't do it in this video. Ok. And now if we paste the animate.css stylesheet over here, we are ready to start using it in our project. For starters, let's make the arrow element bounce in upon creation. So let's go to our JavaScript file next arrow is the function responsible for the creation of the new arrow so let's find it here we are here we create the new element and here we add the classes to the element so that's where we should add the animation uh, related classes first class should be the animated class and second class should be the name of the animation we want to apply in this case bounce in. So let's save and test. Works fine and it's already starting to look a bit more interesting. However, since there is a good chance in this game for things to be moving a bit faster, it would make sense to increase the speed of the animation by decreasing the value of the animation duration CSS property. So let's do this. in the style.css file and let's include the animations related styling over here whenever we have the animated class combined with the bounce in class we want to replace the default animation duration value from 1 second to 0.75 so now let's save and test indeed animation seems faster and let's make it significantly slower just to compare the difference so now it will be almost 3 seconds you can see the difference ok
Next, we want the arrow element to shake in the case of a wrong swipe. So, in the JavaScript file, let's find the handle arrow swipe function. And in the case where result is wrong, we want to add the shake class to the arrow element. This is the arrow element, but let's store it into a variable for easier access. So const arrow element equals this. And let's add the shake class to the arrow element. Let's save and test. Doesn't work, and that's because the arrow element already has the bounce in class, so we should first remove it before adding the shake class. So let's do this over here. Okay, let's save and test. Works fine. However, if we swipe wrong two or more consecutive times, it doesn't work. And that's because we should first remove the shake class before adding it again. So let's do this over here. And by the way, we don't have to check if a class already exists before removing it. JavaScript will not complain. If it exists, it will be removed. Otherwise, it's already gone. So let's save and test. OK, now if I swipe wrong, we get the shake animation. And if I swipe wrong again, we get nothing. And that's because removal and addition of the shake class is happening very fast in the same thread and therefore the browser will see as if nothing has happened. A workaround to this problem would be to include this command into a set timeout method with one or even zero milliseconds as a delay. So let's save and test. Now if I swipe wrong, we can see the shake animation and if I swipe wrong again, we can see that everything works as intended. However, the shake animation is quite slow. So in order to make it faster, again, we'll alter the value of the animation duration CSS property. So let's do this. And by the way, guys, if you have a better solution to this problem, please feel free to share it in the comments section. So back to CSS. And then let's copy and paste this part. So whenever we have the animated class combined with the shake class, we want to set the animation duration to 0.25 seconds. Let's save and see how it looks. Looks fine. And I think we are done with the arrow element. Let's continue with animating the score element. But first, let's add the animated class to the score element. And we can now proceed to adding or removing specific animation classes with JavaScript. So, if result is correct, let's add the pulse class to the score element. Let's save and test. So if I swipe up and keep an eye on the score element, 
we cannot see the pulse animation and that's because the score element is an inline element recall it is a span element and therefore it cannot be scaled so let's set the display property of the score element to inline block and now if I save and check the result notice the score element indeed we can see the pulse animation and if I swipe correctly again we can't see it anymore and we've already been through that that's because we should first remove the pulse class and then add it again so let's do this before adding the pulse class let's make sure we remove it first now again let's apply the set timeout trick and let's use the same animation for the case of a wrong swipe so if score is greater than zero so only if the score is about to change let's apply the animation and if we save and test we can see that everything works fine again let's increase the speed of the pulse animation we want to apply these settings so let's include it over here let's save and check works fine now just a minor modification I would prefer it if the score element was contracting in the case of a wrong swipe and expanding which is the current case in the case of a correct swipe so let's quickly implement and apply the reverse pulse animation for this purpose let's paste the animate.css pulse animation rename it to reverse pulse and change the scaling from 1.05 to 0.95 and we now have the reverse pulse animation let's make sure uh, to use the same duration as the pulse animation and that's all let's save and all that remains now is to replace the pulse animation here in the case of a wrong swipe with the reverse pulse animation and of course we should make sure to remove the class in case it already exists and we should do the same here and I think that's actually it we are done let's save and test so if we are correct indeed score is expanding and if we are wrong indeed it is contracting excellent and that's all guys in the next part we'll make a game a bit more stressful or competitive should I say by adding a progress bar countdown timer All right, thanks for watching. For any questions, suggestions, or just to say hi, please use the comment section below. Hit the like button if you liked this video. Subscribe if you want more. Till next time, keep coding, keep improving, and enjoy the journey. Take care. Bye.